guys, I'm Pastor P. And I'm Miss Debbie. I'm CC. And I'm Sir. And tonight, guys, we are down to Christmas Eve. Wow. And the cool thing is, as I'm looking at this, you know, we're doing the 25 days of Christmas with the Action Bible book. So if you don't have it, you can totally order this one. Boom. But Miss Caitlin, this story is supposed to be about Jesus, but I think it's talking about me. How do you um, figure? Look, it says wise man. Yeah. Should we tell him? <laughs> He's not wise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look at the picture. You've got the camels going across. You've got, oh, you can see the camel. You, you can see them, they're like making their long trek. But apparently tonight, let's see where they end up. It's time for me to return home from the greatest journey of my life. I am weary, but also amazed at what I have seen. May I tell you about it? It all began months and months ago when my young student showed me a bright star in the night sky. I determined that this star signaled the fulfillment of a prophecy that the God of the Israelites would one day send a special king, a king of the Jews. My own king was curious. He decided to send moi, along with other wise men, my student included, to search for this new king and to take him great gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh, oil, to honor his arrival. So we loaded up a caravan. We used to have a caravan. It was a Dodge <laughs> Grand caravan. Not the same caravan. Not the same <laughs> caravan? No. Okay. But they they loaded up their caravan of camels and donkeys or whatever with valuable treasures, and they set off for a faraway land of Israel. I can't believe you missed the line, but wait, there's myrrh. Anyways, oh. <laughs> the journey was long and it was tough, much harder than I expected. I made sure to keep a sword close by in case we were attacked by bandits. Every night we camped under the night sky and gazed in awe at the bright star that continued to guide us on our path. Look at the picture. You see it? Hmm. That's a big bright star. Mm -hmm. After months of I'm so bright. My mom calls me son. Still not funny. Still not funny. <laughs> After months of traveling, the star finally led us to the large city of Jerusalem. We were brought before King Herod in his spectacular palace. I must admit, it was even grander than the palace of our own king. Herod asked us why we magi had come to Israel. I told him we were following a star to meet the new king of the Jews. When Herod heard this, he seemed interested but also a little concerned. Herod's advisor said this new king was probably in the nearby town of Bethlehem. Mm. He instructed me to bring word back when we had found him. In Bethlehem, we actually found this king of the Jews. I couldn't believe it. He was just a boy. Nonetheless, we were overcome with thankfulness at reaching him after such a long journey. I wasn't expecting to feel this way, but we wanted to bow down before him. We gave the boy's mother and father the treasures that we had brought. Mm. They seemed amazed at it all. Our arrival and our gifts for the young king, they were like wowzers. The night before we left, God spoke to me in a dream. God talks to a lot of people in a dream a lot, huh? Mm. Yeah. He was telling me not to trust Herod and to return to my kingdom by a different route. So that is what we are doing. Who knows how long it's going to take us to return home. However long, it will be worth it to protect this young king. Wow. So a couple neat things here, guys. Do you realize they're no longer actually in a stable at this point? Mm -hmm. They think it could have taken up to almost two years for the wise men, the Magi, to be able to get from their country all the way to where Bethlehem is. So imagine this. Jesus wasn't just in the stable that night. That was the shepherds who showed up that night. Almost two years old, here's Jesus, and these guys show up there. Jesus is still in Bethlehem, and they bring these wild, awesome gifts to him that night. So what do you think about, you know, have you guys ever had somebody show up at your door that you weren't expecting? Have you ever had somebody show up with presents? You know, I think about the angel, remember angel tree that we do? Mm -hmm. So with angel tree, we bring these gifts that people at Idlewild, we help provide and we will let the parents buy them and we deliver them to their kids when they can't afford it and be able to get it to them. So all of that said, 
somebody knocks on their kid's door and says, hey, we have some gifts for you. And this is what was going on all the way back then. What's tomorrow? Peeps, it's the 25th. We're going to be talking about what it was like for that donkey. Pastor P, I will see you tomorrow.